So all the Boolean commands and return type methods. Today we will see how to maximize the window, how to minimize the window, and uh, wait commands. So with the today's class, we can close all of them. Theory part. Uh, let's see that. So what are the wait commands uh, uh, in WebDriver? And uh, so what are the window related methods? Like for example, you want to maximize or you want to maximize to full screen or you want to get the window size and window height and width, then so we can use this some methods, getters and setters methods are there. We have seen now uh, element height and width to size, you no know, pointer you are finding. Same way window size, window, so position you can find out with uh, some set position, get position methods and uh, get height and uh, set height methods with the uh, all those things we can uh, get it. So let's go and see that uh, those commands also. So this is the how to maximize the window. Driver dot manage method dot window method dot maximize. Driver dot manage method dot window method dot full screen. And how to set the position of the window. So you want to set particular element position? No, the window position, not element. Window position. So you can call the set position method and you give point arguments. And then driver dot manage method dot window method dot set position. This is the syntax of set position method. So basically your uh, screen resolutions, you want to test with the different uh, screen resolutions. So these methods will help you. So how to resize the window and uh, set window size of the window set size methods so these are the setter methods right setter methods so driver dot manage method dot window method dot set size uh, new dimension height and width you can give so this is a new point object new dimension object so you are giving height and width of the so window how can you get the window position so get position, set position for setting the window position. But to get the position, you can use get position, which returns a point object. Point P equal to driver dot main is method dot window method dot get position. So P dot get X, P dot get point method we can use. So how can you get the size of the window or browser? So get size method is there. So which returns a dimension object, dimension D equal to driver dot manage method dot window method dot get size method. So height you can get. So D dot get height, D dot get width method you can use. So these are all uh, window related methods. And now let's move on to the weight commands. So what are the wait commands in Selenium? So why do you need wait commands? So as I mentioned in the challenges, so the pace is uh, no, very slow and tool is very, very fast. To sync between both of the, both of them, we need a wait commands. So we have two types of wait commands. One is implicit wait, explicit weight. So implicit weight and explicit weight means what? And uh, implicit weight means, so when you assign that time once, that will be applicable for all lines of code in the program. No need to set line by line uh, wait time. And that is the implicit weight. The syntax is 
So the selenium four only we need, we don't need a selenium three, okay? Selenium four is driver dot, manage method dot, timeouts method dot, implicitly weight. Implicitly weight method is overloaded here. It is overloaded. Overloaded means uh, same method name, but different arguments. Duration dot of seconds. Duration dot of milliseconds. Duration dot of minutes. So like this, you can pass different arguments for the simplicity weight method. So it is another example for method overloading. Frame method is one method of overloading. And implicitly weight method also overloaded. So that's the overloading examples you can give where you have used in selenium. You can tell all these examples. So what will happen when you set 30 seconds? Will it wait 30 seconds? No. So how many seconds needed? That many seconds only it will wait. For example, your element appeared in fifth second. Remaining 24 seconds, it won't wait. How much required it will use? That much time it will wait. If the wait time is uh, applicable, each line of code, if required, for example, if that element is visible, it won't wait even nanoseconds also. That's implicit weight. So implicit means it, once you set in the beginning after a browser launching and opening the URL time, then you just you know, uh, write this line of code. Then the remaining all lines of code, this time is applicable. You don't need to set each and every line. That's the advantage with the implicit weight. Implicitly are setting ones and applicable for all lines of code in your program. Next, explicit weight. So explicit weight is, and uh, once you, uh, you are waiting for a particular condition to be satisfied, only particular conditions you want to satisfy then you will use explicit weight. Then you will use explicit weight. And conditions means like uh, you, you want to wait for the page title. You want to wait for the particular element to be present in the web page. Our particular uh, loader should be disappeared. Our particular element is visible. Particular uh, frame is available and switch to it. And particular uh, uh, the text is present in the particular location. So all this, you know, you can uh, wait for that. That is possible with explicit weight. And that time, so this explicit wait time is applicable only for that condition. If that condition is successful, then that time is not applicable for other lines of code. That's the explicit, explicitly you're telling, okay, wait until my condition is satisfied. If the condition is not satisfied, and it will time out. So time out exception, you will get mostly, you will see this uh, expected condition, uh, so not meant. So that you will see this explicit weight. In the Selenium 4, what you need to do is, this is the Selenium 3 code. This is, so WebDriver weight is the one of the class to handle this explicit weight. So for that class, you have to create object. And that object that there is an until method. So wait object dot until method you have to use and you're telling wait until 
this condition is satisfied. What are the conditions? I'll tell you expected conditions class methods. All expected conditions class methods you have to use as an argument for the until method. So until method you have to pass as an argument. You have to pass an argument for this explicit weight. And so WebDriver weight is an object you have to create, for, but you're using here two parameter user constructor. So driver is the one parameter, duration dot of seconds, 30. So that's the second argument. So wait dot until expected conditions dot static method. You have to create. So this is the wait dot until expected conditions dot static method you have to see until method. So what is the argument you have to pass? Expected conditions class method you have to pass as an argument. So that's why I'm telling you know Java everything the methods how to call you should know. See until method you are passing another method as an argument. Another static method you are passing as an argument. So one method parameter value is another static method. Okay, so we'll say, I'll explain all the expected conditions class methods. So what are the methods are there? I'll show you that. So how can you handle explicit weight? How can you set explicit weight? First, you have to create object for WebDriver weight class. WebDriver weight, weight equal to new WebDriver weight. And uh, so this is the parameterized constructor. This is a parameterized constructor here is. So wherever you want to specify the time in uh, WebDriver in Selenium 4, you have to use duration dot half seconds. Duration class, that class is static methods. See so class name dot static method. Class name dot static method. So these are the, so some of the important concepts. Okay. Now, let's see what are all the expected conditions class methods. So expected class conditions methods are, so where you can find, you go to Selenium website, okay. Go to Selenium website. And then downloads. So I'm just taking you to the documentation, Java documentation. So APA documentation, whichever uh, programming language you are using, you navigate to that uh, APA documentation, then click on frames. So these are the frames. Frame tags will be there. Then you look for the expected conditions class. Expected conditions class. So, expected conditions class. So, these are the methods. So, this is the class, these are the methods, all static methods. So these methods are returning expected condition. So, alert is present. So, you are going to check whether the alert is present or not. So it will wait for the alert. So it is going to, so wait for the alert. Next, attribute contains. So attribute contains is, so three parameters, by locator, so the data type is a by. Locator is the parameter name. String is the data type attribute name. String is the data type, value is the parameter. So that means this method you have to pass three parameters. And uh, same, see one more method, attribute contains. Method name same, right? But only parameters are different. 
three parameters only, but this parameter data type is web element, but this parameter data type is by. So these are the so methods you can use. So attribute contains. So attribute contains. So what these methods will do? So an expectation for checking web element with given locator has attribute which contains a specific value. So which contains a specific value. So you have to see that specific values so present or not. And then attribute to be, attribute to be. So by locator, string attribute, string value. So attribute to be web element, string attribute, string value. So it, this, this method will check. So whether the, this attribute value contains this element or not. So that's the attribute to be, that means exact value is present or not, you can check. Attribute contains means partial value, you can check. So that is the, this attribute to be and attribute contains. So overloaded method, these are all examples also you can give method overloading. See that Java concept is widely used here. All these examples you can give if they ask you also. Next, DOM attribute to be, DOM property to be. Property means, uh, so this is the CSS property and value. So you want to wait for the, so CSS properties and attribute values, these methods you can call. So element to be clickable, this is the mostly we'll use, element to be clickable. So by locator, web element, element. Either you can pass the by dot locator, locator value, or you can identify the element and that element name you can pass as an argument to this method. So what this method will do, an expectation for checking whether the element is visible and enabled to perform the click action. So it will wait until that element is visible, enabled, and then you can perform the click action or not, it will tell. So that purpose, so this element to be clickable method will be very helpful. So element to be selected, whether the element is selected or not. So an expectation for checking if the given element is selected or not, you can check. So it will wait, wait for this element to be selected. Next, see frame to be available and switch to it. So int frame locator, frame to be available and switch to it, string frame locator, frame to be available and switch to it, by locator, frame to be available and switch to it, web element frame locator. See, four methods, so with the different uh, arguments, different parameter data type. Parameter count is one only in all four. But so what they will do, it will wait for the frame to be available and switch to it. That's a, you can call expected conditions class start frame to be available and switch to it. And next, invisibility of. So invisibility of this element, you want to wait for the, so element to be invisible. That's the invisibility of. So invisibility of all elements, this web element elements, invisibility of all elements, so elements, invisibility of all elements, web element, dot, dot, elements. So this is the invisibility of all elements. So you want to check all these elements are invisible or not. So invisibility of all elements, web element, 
dot dot. So this means this is the optional arguments. If you put a three dots, a data type, then three dots are there. This is the optional arguments. That means how many arguments you want to give, you can give one, two, three, four, you can give. There is no specific count. That's called optional arguments. But here, if you see here, uh, there are three arguments, right? Two arguments here. Here, two, two parameters here. But this one, when there is an option with a, so data type after three dot dots are there. So that is called optional arguments. How many you want, you can give parameter one, parameter two, parameter three, and so on. How many you want, you can give. That's called optional arguments. Invisibility of all these elements you want to wait, you can use this method. Next, uh, JavaScript throws no exceptions. So whether this method will check if J is executable or not. So J is returns a value, an expectation for checking. So string value from JavaScript port. So number of elements to be, you want to check. So in this location, these many elements are present there, present or not. An expectation for checking a number of elements in the given locator or not. So number of elements to be less than so by locator and this number you can give. Number of elements to be more than, so locator and number you can give. So you want to check all these conditions. You can call these methods and pass as an argument to until method. Class name dot these static methods you have to call. Number of windows to be. So you want to check these many windows are present or not. You can use this number of windows to be. So this is the one you, we are going to use mostly presence of element located by locator you can use. So an expectation for checking that an element is present in the DOM or not. So presence of nested element located by it because basically child elements. So parent element inside child element you can find out. So whether this, uh, this parent element inside this child element is there or not you can check. And also uh, text matches. So text to be, text to be present in element, text to be present in element located. All these are text related. You want to verify the text in particular locator or particular element, then you can use these methods. So there is a title related methods. Title contains Title is, title contains means you can give a partial string title. So title is, is exact title you have to give. So based on your need, you call these methods. URL contains, so this URL, for example, partial URL you want to verify. Only overway, overview summary I want to verify. Then I can call URL contains. Instead of giving this whole uh, URL, absolute URL, you can give a partial with the URL contains if you want to verify this URL. So URL matches. So you can write a regular expressions. So whether the URL matches or not, you can check with that. So URL matches or not, you can check. Then URL to be visibility of element located, visibility of this element. So all these methods are very important. So how to call all these methods? Just expected conditions, wait dot, wait object, web driver wait object dot, until expected conditions dot, element to be clickable by dot xpath xpath value. So text to be present in element. So wait dot until expected conditions dot, text to be present in element, you can pass that. So alert is present, wait dot until expected conditions class dot, 
static method is not null, you can wait for that. So title is, so wait dot until expected conditions dot title is for Gmail. Frame to be available and switch to it. The expected condition waits for a frame to be available and then as soon as the frame is available, so you can switch. So presence of element located by locator. So wait dot until expected condition start presence of element located. So by dot locator locator value. Title contains. So you can wait for the particular title, partial title you can give. So wait dot until expected condition start title contains. Okay. So these are all how you can call. So let's come back and we can see how to use fluent wait next one fluid weight so then we can close and we can start writing the code so these are all the methods you are going to use with the explicit weight command so explicit weight is handled by using web driver weight class first create object for web driver weight then wait dot until method you call until method inside you pass expected conditions class methods 